Nicole Scott here for Netbook News, and here we're taking a look at the Asus Transformer Pad and the original Transformer, which is over here. Now, I've discovered something quite interesting while I was playing around with them, and that is that the docks are identical. If you look at the mouse pads, they're exactly the same, slightly different tone finish here. So we kind of have this uh, gray copper, kind of the uh, Transformer Prime-ish, but in plastic kind of color. Amethyst gray, I think they're calling it. And then here we have the original Transformer, which is in this kind of coppery gold color here. Now, looking at the two docks, you'll see similarities in the way that they're put together, obviously. But the size of the hinge is slightly different on the pad phone. It is just a titch smaller, just a titch rounder around the edges. So see how this is rounded here? And I'd say it's about a millimeter smaller. So we have the square edge here and the round edge here, but apart from that, they're identical. The placement of the latching mechanisms is the same, the placement of the docking hinge, um, the way they, the way the mechanism works here is identical on both of these units. And uh, I'm just going to switch this back onto the tripod real quick and I'll show you how they're interchangeable. Alright, so here we go. So this is the dock for the pad phone and this is the dock for the Transformer Prime. It's got the same um, decorative design as the original Transformer here. So that's how, well, the easy way to tell them apart. So here we go. So I'm going to take the pad phone and I'm going to dock it right here. So there we go. Locked over. Closed. Perfect fit. Now there is a little bit of wiggle room it feels like, but once you kind of push that, this side up and over, the side away from the latch, feels very secure. So let's put this down here and grab the original transformer into the dock of the pad phone. Fits no problem. Uh, you'll see there's a slight difference in the way these connect here. So this definitely sits much lower. Oh, well, not that much lower, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So it's definitely a little bit lower, but um, yeah. So there is a, sl a slightly more deep set um, in the Transformer pad phone dock. But other than that, Okay, so that would be another difference right there. Oh, well, the pad phone dock is clearly very heavy, so you definitely can't put it back. So that would be actually why the pad phone doesn't have nearly as much range of motion as the transformer pad dock does, because this is significantly heavier due to the, due to the phone. So that would be one of the main differences but if you have an original transformer dock, you're good to go. It's, uh, it works fine. You just have to make sure that you kind of angle your pad phone in an appropriate way and don't let it fall back too much. Oh, well, there we go. You just kind of, well, there it is. That's the point where it falls over. So that's pretty much the only difference between the pad phone dock and the TF-101 dock. So save yourself a few bucks. I'd look for this one on eBay. Yeah, so Nicole Scott for Netbook News taking a quick look at um, docking keyboards.